Hello viewers and welcome to another very special episode of Star Jam. This is your favorite host Rohini Edukula. Randarthi Pandrandil, Tattathin Marayathilude, Nammada Manasu Kavarna Sundariyana Inna Nammalooda Poladu, Isha Talwa. Hi. Hi. Did you understand a word of what I said? Of course, I understood what did all I say? of it. What did I say? You said I'm the girl from the film Tatatin Maria. How difficult is that? You didn't give me adjectives. What What did you say? You it's said okay. Sundari. Beautiful I, and yes, cute yes, and I classic and all that. Yes. But yeah, did anyway. you mean all of that? That is important. And we will come to that <laughs> later. <laughs> Okay, yes. so your first, obviously, your first film, Tarata hmm. Maratha, let's, let's start from there, right? Hmm. Um, you're, it's not like how you appear right now. You looked completely different, right? And you look like completely like someone else, yes? And like a character, which probably you do not associate much with to start off with. Like a girl from a Muslim background who's always indoors hmm. and, you know, because you're an outdoorsy girl. You love hmm. to dance and you live your life right. freely, right? And that is also a part of me. That hmm. definitely is a part of me. There are days when I will, you know, I mean, it's not, I, I don't think being Muslim is only being, you know, wearing the the uh, the clothes that I wore in the film. I have a lot of Muslim friends in Bombay. I have, you know, thankfully because I've been, I grew up in Bombay, there's all sorts of mixed culture happening there. So I've, uh, I've interacted with a lot of Muslims and I have a lot of Muslim friends. So I, I think, uh, and the traits of that character, there are definitely those, some of those in me. A lot of Malayalis would want to see you like that again, because in most of the interviews, you, you appear like this. You appear mm. in a very, uh, you know, like mm. the way you are, mm. the modern woman. So can we take you back to your first movie by giving you something? Oh. Yeah. You're quite a risk taker mm. because coming from the background that you are like you lived in Mumbai and you had uh, you know uh, probably a career in, in dance or media or whatever it is and you just took this jump to South Indian cinema mm. where you had you would have been like what you know I don't know what is going to happen where this is going how did you make that decision that like how did you for a girl mm. I'm asking you for a girl like would have been you know it's just like such a weird thing to do like it's like jumping so many states ahead. See, but it's, some, it's not something new. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not unheard of. You know? yeah. There are lots of girls from Bombay who are doing this, which is probably why it, it doesn't seem so difficult. Mm. And I don't think it is so difficult because it's about, uh, it's about cinema. And if you want to be in the films, and I got the opportunity at the right time. And uh, so I jumped on. I, I, I mean, I would. <laughs> <laughs> now when you think back, you? did you think that, you know, wow, I just took a big risk? Or did you think that it's... You know, you have to take risks. Life is about taking risks. Hmm. When you see God's own country also, you will realize life is about taking risks also. So, um, I think that that's just part of life. You so, did you ever think, uh, oh, Malayalam like... I never like thought it would be Malayalam cinema that I started right. off with. I, I just, you know, I, I didn't know what was going to be my first feature film. Hmm. But I'm just so glad that this is my first that, feature Yeah, and, and it turned out to be such a big hit, right? It's really turned out to, all the work that I've got till date has something to do with this film. All of it. <laughs> it has something, either somebody, you know, from somewhere has gone and spoken to XYZ and yeah. given my name or somebody said watch this film. You know, something, mm -hmm. it's got to do either with the crew or the, or the film. So. How is it making friends in the industry, especially when you don't belong to Kerala? Like, it's is like it making hard to friends bond? anywhere, no? It's, it, I don't think it's about an industry thing. It's like how you would make friends anywhere. Hmm. So but how has it been to make friends in the industry? Has Sorry? it been easy? How has it been to make friends in the industry? Is it easy? Is it difficult? Or is it I guess if you don't it? manipulate people, it's easy. Hmm. Yeah, you know, but if you're constantly in your head making some, some plans of I want, to, I want to make friendship with this person so that I can get somewhere, and you're complicating life for yourself and for the, you know, for anybody else. So uh, I think then it's a little sort of uh, tough to have friendship. Mm. Then, then it's not friendship, right? But so you do have friends in the industry. I have lots of friends in the industry. Who are? Who are uh, my entire first, my uh, Aju, Nivin, Vineet, Chomon, they're all friends. My entire first uh, film crew, mm. then I, you know. <laughs> uh, the character Aisha. Mm. Um, you're insanely popular with boys. 
Because <laughs> I remember for the audio launch, this is for the uh, benefit of the viewers. Niko Nachan Varna Cinema had audio launch in a minute. Isha had a guest at the village. Isha College Lake Kerry. Nyam Virchu Abadan to accident is some boychun. Atre Adigam Bahala Erno. Aplan Yankan and Isha Berinadum and the boys of Pinni Lidaneta. Oh no, a moody on the Thodam Pachua and the Gil Enolari the Lerno or the reaction. It is so. Um, I have probably in my life not seen a reaction like that to a girl. Really? Because boys were just sitting behind you and just waiting to just... If you just glanced back, I'm sure many of them would have died. <laughs> like literally, literally, <laughs> no honestly. So uh, my uh, so my whole thing in my head was, are boys love, in love with a character? Are mm. they in love with Aisha or is it Isha Talwar? What do you think it is? Ask the boys. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it is? Do you think the, from the reaction that you have felt, is it they genuinely love you? I or is it that, uh, it's is it that, that, that the character it's that all the, the boys, it, is it that trait? What is it? Yeah, yeah, it's got to be the character. It's got to be the character. So you're trying, oh, I'm not, it's okay, it's <laughs> not me. Is that, is that it? You're extremely beautiful, come on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of fan following that hmm. day from the first film onwards, right? But when it came to your second film, hmm. I Love Me, um, the film wasn't a big commercial success or mm. it didn't do extremely well. Um, it didn't do well at all. It yeah. didn't do well at all, okay. So if it's okay to say that it didn't do well at all. Yeah, um, <laughs> how did you, as in how were you taking the reaction of that second film? Because people were expected so much from you after the first film. Second film, it kind of went down. It was so a bit of a risk again. Mm. Uh, you know, from the first film, it was a completely different role. And then the Unikrishnan sir offered this one to me and he said that he said, I know I'm, I'm offering something completely different. Would you be interested? I said, sure. I don't mind trying out things because I've just started my career. I can't limit myself and say, I'm only going to do this or mm. I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? I don't want to be in that space and lose out on good work that comes my way. So I think I was pretty, uh, it's unfortunate that the film didn't do well. And, uh, but that's okay. Life goes on. <laughs> so how did you take the reaction of the film not doing well? Like like I said, from a super duper hit to... You know, I don't go with too many expectations, quite honestly. Even when I went on, the first time my movie released, I didn't, I didn't even know what, what it is like to have a feature film release, mm. you know. I was chilling at Bombay Airport, having my coffee with my dad at 12 o'clock around, and then I came to Kerala, and then the moment I landed, people said, oh, your movie is such a big hit. I said, but it released three hours ago. They said, yeah, but, uh, but, the, but the result is out. I mm. said, that's crazy. I said, how can it be out so soon? They said, that's the way Kerala functions. I mm. said, okay. And <laughs> then I went to the theater and then, you know, they were all suddenly people recognizing me and I said, my God, this is, uh, that was quite a, uh, it was quite a welcome to Kerala. Yeah. And, uh, but nonetheless, you can't have that go to your head and you can't be completely depressed when a film doesn't do well. Do I mean, well. it's about the audience at the end of the day. You know, if a large part of it likes it, the movie is a hit. If they don't like it, it's a flop. Besides having a language barrier, hmm. which you do have, what are the other difficulties that you faced in settling into a Malayalam film industry? I've always been hopping between Bombay and Kerala, so mm. I haven't really uh, settled per se here, mm. but uh, I don't think as such any difficulties. I mean, you know, some sets are really nice and some sets are okay. I mean, you don't, like you said, you yes. don't make, you don't end up making friends everywhere. Where mm. you find your comfort zone, you'll find friends and it's a little bit of a different vibe there. Mm. And then the other setup is just different. So. I don't think there's been any difficulty as such. No difficulty Even with the language. Food or meeting people, language, trying to communicate what exactly you want. No, I think communication is, mm. it's simple. You just have to convey a message. As long as people can do that, it's fine. Mm. You know, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. Tell me about your new projects, Isha. Uh, there's Bangalore Days mm. and uh, there's another film called Mene Pyar Kia, which is out on 29th May. Mm. Yeah, Maybe Telugu. Uh, is, is a Telugu film or is it is it it's a Telugu, movie. Telugu film? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, um, how is it working in the Telugu industry and the Malayalam versus? I don't find any difference. I just the think same. that Malayalis are much quicker. Yeah. As in the work just gets over much 
faster. Okay. Over here. Uh, tell me about your role in uh, Ulsa Hakan. I play a postwoman in the film. and okay. uh, That's really sweet. <laughs> Even seeing a postman nowadays is like a rare sight. Postwoman. Correct. Postwoman, I don't know. And what a pretty postwoman, huh? Oh. I'm sure a lot of men would would love to have a letter <laughs> delivered <laughs> by Isha, the postwoman, huh? Okay. Right. I. Uh, it was a really fun film because uh, there was Sheila Ma in the film, mm. and I think she's just so much fun. I I'm sure you would have yeah. heard a lot of stories from her. She must have. Yeah, yeah. Said, she yeah. had like every time you sat with her, she had like X amount of stories to tell. Yeah. Then Jeram sir. Mm. He's constantly uh, mimicking people, right? And you're cracking up yeah. because of that. So, good fun. The film in itself is, is fun comedy, right? It's a comedy. Yeah. yeah, and so it would have been a lot of fun on set as well. And it's quite a blessing, like someone like Sheelama, like you mentioned, right? Someone with so much of experience that mm. you hear stories from her, right? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you'll have limitations in terms of roles when the directors come to you in terms of characters? I'm not quite sure. If mm. they do come to me, then they obviously think that I fit the bill. So. But I think there could be limitations because mm. of the language. Because yeah. of the language. Yeah. Yeah. Not How far have you progressed else. in terms of learning Malayalam? I can understand a lot more. Yeah. I yeah. can't speak it entirely, but if there's a conversation happening, I can definitely pick up and I know what they. If somebody saying bad things about me, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> you probably never knew this, hmm. uh, but there was a very lovely compliment about you made by someone. Okay. Okay. And uh, I'll say this in Malayalam. Hmm. And then I'll say it in English as well, but it sounds way better in Malayalam. Mm. Okay, so someone saw you on screen, mm. uh, and saw your film, and saw you on screen, and uh, the person said, "Isha talwar ne kandal, sugandham parathiya penguti aite dono." Can you tell me what it means? <laughs> when you see her on screen, uh -huh. and then what did you say after that? Sugandham parathuna penguti. Penguti is girl. Girl. Okay. Huh. And then before that, Sugandham is what? Sugandham is same as Hindi. Sugandh is uh, fragrance. Yeah, fragrance, yeah. yeah. So a girl who spread her lovely fragrance <laughs> all over the screen. How sweet. And who is this person? That I am not allowed to disclose. Why? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works. But Malayalam is so poetic. Huh? I think it just, I said, the yeah, language so by it's itself a, it's is a huge so poetic. Compliment, right? And I yeah. don't want you to forget that we told you this on Kappa TV. Definitely. Yeah. I will 100%. You should not. This. So I therefore, uh, it's sure yeah. you do not forget <laughs> that you got this compliment. You should never Please. forget oh. this. Thank Please you keep so this much. as a memory. Thank you so much. Yeah. I hope it's only because of the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> and it has no other meaning. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Bangalore days, right? Mm. You were talking about it. Mm. Tell us something more about the film. Oh, again, I pair up with uh, Nivin Polly. And, uh, but this time there's a twist. This mm. time we've tried to do something different, something fun. It's okay. Otherwise, it's very predictable for me to sort of you know, pair up with him again and mm. if it's going to be the same thing then what's the point mm. of doing another thing. So also Anjali ma'am has a very unique way of uh, telling her story mm. and you know there is so much happening in the film, so many exciting things and so many things that she actually wants to you know narrate and mm. say through this story. So it's been a very very uh, interesting film to work on. It's been quite uh, it's different. I've never worked with so many actors. Actors, in, yeah, that's in, another in thing. There are a lot of uh, young actors in the film, right? I think the whole Malayalam industry. Exactly. Is in that yes. <laughs> you name it. There are people who are like somebody exactly. who came here before was like. You name it. Every actor is there every in the film. There, yeah. So that would have been quite a fun. I experience. think that's very special for me because I think I'm the only one who's not from here and mm. is part of the film, mm. which is why I, you know, even though it may not be screen time-wise a very uh, lengthy role, mm. but I wanted to be a part of this cast. Right. Yeah, because it's, I, I could just imagine and it was exactly what I sort of uh, thought it would be like. Mm. It's like a crazy fun set. <laughs> Good. Uh, God's own country, mm. yes, which is obviously Kerala. Of course. Of course. <laughs> um, right. So how was uh, the experience with Fahad Fasil? Like someone, such a hardcore actor, right? So inspiring on screen. You tell me That's how was the That's the thing screen. about him yeah. that, uh, you know, I, I've interacted with him and he's told me how he sort of made his debut mm. and things didn't work out and he's come back and, you know, he said, I'm going to do this all over again. And I think that talks a lot about the person that he is and he's extremely serious. Mm. He doesn't look, he looks like he doesn't care about his work, but he, he really, 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 really? Like that, every yeah. small detail, huh. he, he, he'll make sure that things go right. Mm. He's extremely um, hardworking. Very, he's just he doesn't behave like a star. 
which yeah. is great <laughs>